What is the kingdom of God? The word kingdom has been described in many ways and used to justify opposing religious agendas. Kingdom is arguably the most misused and confused term in the church today, becoming essentially a buzzword void of meaning. The many among a younger generation hold a view of the kingdom that is intricately tied to social justice and making the world a better place. Digging wells in a developing nation, saving victims from human trafficking, and giving money to the poor are all kingdom work. Now these are wonderful endeavors, but is this all that the kingdom of God is about? A different view, held by many of an older generation, connect kingdom to the rule of God seen through acts of redemption and power. Kingdom work then involves sharing the gospel, overcoming sin and personal salvation. Now these two are worthy callings, but is this a biblical portrait of the kingdom? And where does the church fit into all of this? Whether you're wearing skinny jeans or pleated pants, one thing seems to be agreed upon. The kingdom is not the church. The kingdom is the rule of God. The church is a group of people. The kingdom is expansive. The church is localized. The kingdom is spiritual and eternal. The church is physical and temporary. But what if this way of thinking is wrong? What if there is no kingdom outside of the church? In his new book, Kingdom Conspiracy, Scott McKnight asks hard questions of popular understandings of the kingdom suggesting we have fundamentally misunderstood this central biblical theme. McKnight challenges the local church to return to its radical mission of doing kingdom work, a mission that should change the way we think about the relationship between church and kingdom. Kingdom Conspiracy by Scott McKnight, coming October 2014.